All right, today we've got Alex Christensen, Michael Enyart, and they're members of the tennis team. They've got a couple of their teammates sitting behind them. Uh, these guys had their first match of the season last night. How'd it go? Um, um, me and Jets had, uh, we lost. We were playing pretty well the first two games, but then, uh, I don't know, we made a lot of mistakes after that, and we went downhill. <laughs> we, we did pretty bad. What kind of mistakes? Uh, we would, I don't know, like power, like we would just hit it way too far, or hit it straight to the net. Um, so, like, yeah, pretty much it. So as a team, uh, what was the team score? Do you remember? Yeah, it was. Uh, we lost six out of the eight. But there was like three that came down to tiebreakers. Two of them in the singles, and then one was the doubles. And where it's just where the timeline is starting to run out, so they just say, okay, play a game for like six points instead of a match. Okay. So we're going against Centennial for the you know season opener. Things went all right. I mean, obviously you want to win, but it was pretty close match. Yeah, it could have gone either way. I think. How do you think the team's going to end up doing overall this season? Uh, I'm not sure. I think we could do well, but I also think if we uh, play like we did yesterday, we could lose a lot of matches. But yeah, there was a lot of just little mistakes that I think people could fix, so it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, and you guys got a new coach this year after having Don for the last five or six years. Uh, how has Thomas helped the program, and what do you guys like about him as a, as a new coach? Uh, I think that he's just really, I mean, he loves tennis, and you can tell that he's just into it, and like, he knows a lot about tennis, and a couple assistant coaches know a lot too, like the Boynton's dad. He knows a lot, and they're just a lot of in like drills where I don't, I didn't play in the past, but I didn't seem like Dom was kind of playing with them while Tom, like Thomas is always interacting with us and making sure that we know. Like he'll stop us in the middle of the play and tell us something we could fix, and then it just kind of helps. Yeah, you said you didn't play in the past. I know there's not really much of a youth tennis program around. So how do you guys get into tennis uh, and get involved with it in high school? Friends. Yeah, I it's all about Jensen. like kind of friends. Yeah, Jensen really got both of us. I wasn't gonna play this year, and then I had just like I'd go play for fun, and he just decided that he told me to come out one day. And it was a lot of fun, so I mean, I think it's just once you get into the environment, it's really fun. But looking into it, I was like, I don't know if I really want to play it. But so Ryan, what got you started in tennis? I didn't want to do track anymore. <laughs> I was good at track, and everyone pressured me into doing that. And I wanted to do rugby, but I was too small to actually do that. So I just decided I wanted to figure out something else that no one else really was a part of, so I chose to do tennis. So with a lot of sports like, you know, baseball, football, basketball, you got, you start in elementary school and kind of keep playing all the way through. Is it hard to pick up a sport that you don't start playing until your freshman, sophomore, or senior year in high school? Uh, well, there's a lot of things that can be related to other sports, like just kind of like having like almost athleticism going back and forth, or just kind of baseball relating and the whole swing of the racket or when it goes to like there's just a lot of different things that you can correlate with different sports but yeah I can see how if there was kids there was a the number one singles on Centennial yesterday you could tell he's been playing for a long time because it was that was his game like you mm -hmm. can tell that he's fine-tuned at it and we, nobody has that on our team we yeah had, so oh good we had it last year like Tavian and uh, Caleb they that was like pretty much their life they played tennis all the time and they're really good but this year it's like except Keen and nobody else like plays tennis year round. Okay. Um, and now the courts here at, at St. Helens, I know that's something, a project that the Booster Club is working on to try and get new new courts out here. Uh, these ones are, are in pretty bad shape. What's it like playing on these ones compared to some of the nicer courts you might play on elsewhere in the league? Well, like uh, yesterday in our match, uh, the kid from the other team, he hit a ball and it hit the, or Jetson hit a ball and it hit the crack and we got a point because of it. It was like, Really, that's a point. And like, whereas if you go to like Sherwood, uh, they have great courts, like they're like perfect. So it's it's a lot different. Yeah, there's no such thing as crack balls. Is what yeah, it's and it's just like you have to say that the crack balls count really, and that's gonna. There's no chance on the play on the ball because normally it'll bounce directions that would never happen. Now, is that something that you can try and uh, factor in, or is that too hard to? It's pretty to, tough to hit a crack. Yeah, no, that's, and sometimes it'll go along the line of like on the, the outer edge of the court, or it'll just go right through it. it, just depends on which court it is, really, so. Okay. Now, since I, I've never played tennis, uh, you know, I have an idea of what, what the football team practices, what, what you do at baseball practice, basketball, you know, you're working on a lot of set plays and, and things like that. What do you do at tennis practice to try and improve? <clears throat> Drills, a lot of volleying, serving, and then you play practice matches pretty much. Yeah, I think the best thing is just to be almost like where in basketball where you're 
scrimmaging, going up and down, like that's kind of the best way to get in the flow. Well, that's how it is with tennis too. We do a bunch of little drills at the beginning, like serving, work on serving, and then he'll go around and help us with like what we are deficient in. And then he'll like tell us, okay, you can challenge this person, you can do this person. So it's a constant just like, I don't know, like you're versing each other and whoever's doing better that week is going to play higher than the other person. Okay. Now, Alex, this is your second year on the team. What would you say are your strengths as a player? Um, I don't know, just being able to go in here on the court. Like, it's not that hard to move around on the court. And maybe volleying. Uh, I'm not very good at serving, but I, when I get it in, it's good. Okay. Uh, Michael, what do you think you're, you're good at so far? Um, just, I don't know, keeping the ball over the net. Sometimes it's not like yeah, I'm just smashing it. Like, Jensen has a lot of harder hits, and he can really hit back at it. But most of the time, it's just me getting it over the net, and then kind of, I think the weakness is, like, I don't, I don't know where to be on the court sometimes. So they call this, like, area no man's land between, like, the inner part and then out of, like, out of play. And I sometimes am in there, and Jensen just kind of gets me and makes sure that I'm not in there, but besides that. So do you guys prefer playing singles or doubles? I like, I like doubles. I'm, I haven't played singles yet, but Thomas has kind of told me that I would be, I'm going to be in the doubles area, so I just always practice that. And it's a lot more fun, and you just kind of, it's just higher environment, I think, than singles. I like singles because you don't have to rely on another person, but then again, I like doubles because you play with your friends and you have fun. All right. Well, good luck the rest of the season, guys. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for giving us an audience this time, guys. <laughs> Thank you, and good luck.